This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, President and CEO of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture, Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. Let's open with scripture. Today I'll read from 1 John 5. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep his commands. And his commands are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, friends, it's great to be with you uh, on this Tuesday. Hope you have a, a great day today. Let's get to the news. First, uh, U.S. intelligence officials uh, have said that Iran is behind uh, cyber attacks, hacks of both uh, the Trump presidential campaign uh, as well as attempts on uh, the Biden-Harris campaign. Uh, Three staffers in the Biden-Harris campaign, so obviously this was over a month ago, were targeted with phishing emails, um, but investigators have uh, uh, not said those attacks were successful, uh, but there was a hack of Donald Trump's presidential campaign, and the Trump campaign has said that uh, the hack was successful uh, and that Iranian actors had stolen and distributed sensitive internal documents. Now, three news outlets, Politico, the New York Times, and the Washington Post, were leaked confidential material from inside the Trump campaign. So far, each has refused to reveal any details about what uh, was received. Second news item, yesterday was the opening uh, night of the Democratic Convention, and delegates approved a Uh, platform for the party. There is a catch, though. The uh, convention platform committee of the DNC approved the platform uh, just days before President Joe Biden announced he would no longer run for re-election. And so the platform uh, is not changed from, uh, from when it was approved by the platform committee. It still references Uh, Joe Biden as the nominee, Uh, frankly, in in my view, it in some ways becomes a meaningless document. Party platforms are already non-binding and uh, seems especially the case uh, for this one, given that the platform refers to a second Biden-Harris term 19 times and... uh, that's that's not going to happen. Uh, other news from the convention, uh, the convention's opening night uh, featured an address from uh, former First Lady, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who gave remarks um, that made the case for Harris and placed Harris as a sort of a culmination of uh, uh, a series of female politicians from Shirley Chisholm to Geraldine Ferraro to Hillary Clinton herself. And uh, Clinton said that on the other side of uh, the uh, highest glass ceiling uh, is Kamala Harris, is the vice president. Uh, the keynote uh, yesterday evening was uh, the current president, Joe Biden, who 
uh, gave a kind of swan song. Uh, uh, he was not able to give a, a full convention speech four years ago because of uh, because of COVID, and he spoke uh, in the closing slot uh, of the convention this year as he expected. But instead of it being on the final night of the convention, it was on the opening night as he defended his legacy, uh, talked about his career of public service, and uh, endorsed again and made the case uh, for the Harris Walls ticket and against uh, Donald Trump's. Tonight, the convention will uh, feature former President Barack Obama. All right, that's your news for the day. Let's end it there and close with Dallas Willard's version of the Lord's Prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, thank you for joining me today. As always, the Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Have a great day.